Oh boy. Let's continue with this project, this complete plumbing project. <laughs> okay, so where are we? Man, so, so here's the cold water. Okay, so I think I finished this part of it and we have just let's just take a look at the 3d you can 3d view you can highlight highlight all of this go up here to this section box and you can come over just to take a look and see what's going on and of course what you can do you can modify this however you want right you can go to your filters and turn off and on you can go to your links turn off and on okay so I have all of them off so I can just see what's going on. Um, it looks like I have all of my systems are on from this filter. You see, all of these are on. But if I'm just using the hot water, cold water, I'm going to turn off the vis visibility of my waste so I can just see what's going on with my cold water. And one thing that you have to get used to, and that is your three-dimensional space, um, uh, how you can identify information in 3D. You'll be surprised at the number of people that cannot do this type of work. They may look at this and say, well, is it upside down or is it right side up or... <laughs> What does it look like? You have to know that if I click on this pipe, in my mind, in my mind, I know that when I go to the floor plan, where that pipe is. You have to know where you are in your, when you're looking at this 3D view, right? You just, you just have to know. Now, I don't get it right all the time, but I'm just saying that you have to, if you're looking at this view or you're looking at your systems in 3D, you have to kind of know where you are, okay? So, so when you go back and you look at information, then you have to know that you're on this side. And this is, this is kind of simple, a simple way of looking at it. And, and as you go along, your project is going to get complicated, okay? You're going to have electrical, you're going to have... Uh, HVAC in there, you're going to have some structural, but mostly it's going to be HVAC and your, let's say for example, you're going to put um, your, um, what is this? Oh, okay. You, ha you have to put your, um, it could be hot water return that's on here, but all of this information, and if you look at your 3D view and you turn on your sanitary, which is this guy and this guy. So you have to look at stuff, you know. You have to be able to figure out where your pipes are and where HVAC. I don't think that there's any. And if, say, for example, you know this is going to go down. So what's going on here, right? So let's turn on the HVAC, the link HVAC, and see if we have any, anything. Okay, so we have that. So it looks like that is okay. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that little bit of a clash. And I don't lose sleep over stuff like this. The contractor can work that out. This is all but a representation, right? So I'm going to undo this. Undo, 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 undo. Okay. So let's go back here and, okay, let's undo. Okay. So I'm just saying that um, it's important to be able to look at in your 3D space and in your mind and vice versa when you go into your 2D, right? And when you look at 3D, you have to know where you are and where is this and the section also. So um, I like to, where is my section? Where is my section? Here's my section, okay. You have to know, I like to look, when I do my section, I always have to look at a, 
uh, some type of a reference because sections Revit likes to default <laughs> if it's on the high rise. It likes to look at the entire one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floors instead of just this little, like I'm on the roof. And if I go to my section, since it's already highlighted, I can go anywhere on this plan and right click and it will go to that view. Okay. And when you look at this, you see Revit takes the entire length, <laughs> goes from one floor to the next. So it's a good, always a good idea when you're looking at your section, just kind of, you get just a reference, okay? So when you go to your section, you know that it's up here. Instead of, well, where is it? Well, where is it? It's down here, or it's up here, okay? So those are, there's some of the things that you have to look out for when you're, when you're doing your editing. And I will say that seven, 60 to 70 percent of your work in Revit is going to be edit. You're going to be edit, edit. <laughs> Stuff is just not going to go the way you want it to go. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So that's the cold water, and this is the hot water. Okay, so what we are going to do, there's other information that you have to look at also, right? So we know if I click on this hot water pipe, I go over this PVC system type is hot water, and it is five feet above the floor. That's the middle elevation, okay? So we know that this door is, we gotta at least clear it. So I know I'm gonna have to come over here and then come up. I would say eight, let's go up eight. Middle elevation, I'm gonna change that to eight feet, okay? So we can go across, and now it's eight, and I can go back down. Doesn't have to be five feet, but I know I have to get this hot water to my fixtures, okay? I'm gonna come over, I need to go down, maybe here, okay? And I'm gonna keep it at five. Let's just keep it simple. Keep it at five here. And come over, and let's go. I'm going to go past the two because I don't know what Rev is going to do when I ask it to connect into. So I'm going to go here, and always, 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 hot water is on the left side, cold water is on the right side. So if you go to your nearest lavatory, wherever you are, hot water is always going to be on the left side. Um, so I'm going to connect into my hot water here. Oh, let's see. What size is this? Three-quarter inch? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's change that. I'm going to change it to a half inch. Usually they're three-eighth inch, but, well, you know, I'm, maybe I should. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's split this guy up. I usually use the second, I'll use a split with gap. And that's going to be cut an element into separate individuals. So if you, let's take a, I'm going to just, okay. The difference is if I split the element, okay, you see that there's sort of a, I think these are unions. What is that? It's a coupling, okay. Undo this. But if I use my, split with gap, okay? There's split element and there's split with gap. I'm gonna, I like to split with gap because if I split with element, I don't have time to erase the coupling, okay? And now it's split, okay? So I usually don't use that one. Sometimes I do if I'm just not thinking about what I'm doing, which is a lot of times, but I'm gonna go split with gap here and now that's all I need, all right? So I'm gonna hover over the pipe and choose my tab key and change this pipe size from a three quarter inch to half inch, okay? So that's that. And then when I go back, this Revit will automatically put a reducer on there and we're good to go. 
So let's go back to connect into hot water, hot water, hot water, hot water here. Okay, so we go the same. Let's see what's okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see what's going on. We got this. So that's the hot water, and it's going into my fixture. Okay. Okay, that's what's going on. Now the second, the second, my other uh, uh, clinic sink, I'm going to connect into my hot water. There, there. Okay. So let's go back to the 3D view and see what's going on. Okay. So that looks okay. I'm, I'm going to create an elbow right there, right here. Let's de delete this. Okay, delete this guy. And have an elbow. Create an elbow or fill it here, here. Okay, so that's that. And let's, I'm going to sync this before I do anything more. Um, let's go back to the roof plan. And so we have our hot water and our cold water. And what we can do, let's label some of this stuff. So we go to annotate, tag by category, and we want a free in. Okay. Attached is this guy. I don't know. Attached is usually used when you want to put the text or size in line with your uh, pipe. Let's do this, attach, and I can just, without the arrow or leader, let's put it about right there, okay? So that's when you use attached. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's, otherwise, if you want to come off at an angle with your leader, you want to use a free end, which is here. And we go here and here, okay, just for demonstration purposes, okay? So that's those two, and we have our hot water, cold water, and we have our 3D view. That looks kind of cool, I guess. Okay, we have our cold water and our floor drain. Sometimes we use a trap primer, but I'm not going to use a trap primer, and this maybe it's going to be frequently used. Usually you use a trap primer. Trap primer is just some type of a cold water going to the your floor drain that's connected to your trap in your floor where you can uh, keep that keep your seal right so the gases don't come back up but I'm not going to use those um, so you go under the floor and hopefully and I'm, <laughs> I know that I'm going through a few beams let's look at the s structure okay let's go here what am I doing what am I doing Am I violating any rules? Let's see. See, I'm going through a, through the beam here. I'm going through the beam here. And I'm not going to worry about it because pipes can go through beams. Um, but for demonstration purposes, this is not the real world. Close to it. I would say close to it. You know, I'm not going to do anything that's out of you know, way out of bounds, okay? Um, I'm not gonna have the pipe go through the bottom part of this web, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, the rest of this looks okay. We go up to the water heater, we come out, and there's our reducer that we just did. There's our pipe going up, and if we look at our Let's look at this, our floor, our um, door. See if our door is on. Let's turn on the door. Let's go here and just type D, and you can go to your doors. Am I going to turn off everything else? I'll turn off everything else but my door. I'll say none. Okay. Did y'all see that? Let me cancel. Go back. Okay. Here. You can highlight all of it, say all. And once you have what you need, then you just say none. Type D, 
and you can just have your door here let's see what's going on okay so we have our door and we're going above the door and the door is usually seven foot right with all the the trimming and stuff usually can I, what did i go eight eight feet yeah okay so that looks good let's go back let's turn off our doors Everything is looking okay as far as I know. Okay. Um, P roof, we go here, we have everything. I'm going to delete this guy. Um, water heater, everything looks okay. And we go back. Uh, okay, I think that I'm going to stop here. I don't see anything else that I need to, maybe if I, and then you can go in and, you can go in and, and identify stuff, okay, liter, three quarter inch, cold water pipe, okay, come all the way out, okay, and let me sink this again, um, so, and again, this is the Snowden project that comes with Revit. And there is a link, there's a plumbing link, there's a um, structural link, and there's an HVAC link. And you saw that HVAC link. I'm going to go back, let's go back, and I'm going to turn on both of those. This is the plumbing link. See, that's the Snowden project. And the HVAC. Okay. So, my design... Is probably, I'm sure it's a little different than the design f that the plumbing link has, which is good, and it's okay. It's just a guy, right? I mean, there's not a, see, this is their, this is the plumbing, and that's the HVAC down here. Can't see a whole lot of it. Let me go down some and come over some. Okay, so that's the HVAC. So... Um, it looks like everything is clear. There are no major clashes. Okay, no major clashes. Cl clashes. Okay, so we got that, um, and I can go. So to get that back, uh, let's let's do this. Let's do this here. Okay, so to get that back, we we just cl click into your working environment and your properties will come out okay so we get that and we go back and we go back and we go back and we go back so everything looks clean go here okay so that's the hot water cold water okay and that's going down this is going down i would i should put down to basement right you want to give your contractor or whoever's reading this drawing some type of a guide or or yeah type of um, road map is what I was looking for to let these guys know what's going on and as much as possible you can always put a note because usually there's going to be a plumbing note up in the upper left or upper right hand corner corner in your sheet on your sheet which I'll go over later 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 um, but for now you can if you have room just say down to parking right I'll go down to parking and just leave it at that. Cold water down to parking, then they'll know. Okay, and if you go down to parking, which is here, water, okay, that's these guys. So if I go back to the roof and if I highlight all of this, okay, then it should highlight. So that's that guy right there. Okay, so you just want to give somebody an idea of where things are going. If it's going down, then it's easier to read if it says down to parking, right? So I'll leave it at that. And I think that I'm going to stop here with this project on the cold water, hot water on the roof, guys. Okay, all right, guys, I hope that helped. And I will talk to you guys later.